Pain assessment is a crucial element of your nursing assessment. However, assessing pain in infants and children is easier said than done. This video will discuss pain assessment tools available to nurses working with the pediatric population. Just because infants are able to feel pain, it does not make assessing pain in an infant easy. Because infants are unable to communicate their pain level and where their pain is located, nurses must use objective data to gauge their pain level. Assessment tools available at this age are the CRIES Comfort Scale is a new numerical scoring system broken down into categories of alertness, calmness agitation, respiratory rate, physical movement, blood pressure, heart rate, muscle tone, and facial tension. The child will score between 1 and 5 in each category. Total scores give an indication of the child's overall comfort level. CRIES Neonatal Pain Measurement Scale is a 10-point scale in which the nurse is assessing the amount and type of crying, the need for oxygen, the vital signs and facial expressions, as well as the sleeplessness of the infant. As we move into assessing children who are able to verbalize pain, it's important to remember to talk to the child using appropriate language. It may be helpful to find out from the caregivers what words they use for pain, such as boo-boo or ouchie, and what words they use for anatomy, such as tummy. They may also not have descriptive words, such as dull, sharp, achy, or stabbing in their vocabulary. Assessment tools available in this age are The Faces Scale is a scale with five faces, ranging from a very happy face, indicating the child is in no pain, to a very unhappy, sad face, indicating the child is in a lot of pain. The child is asked to point to the face that best demonstrates their pain. The Pieces of Hurt tool uses four items to describe pain. Each item represents a different amount of hurt, with one being a little hurt, and all four being the most hurt ever. Each child chooses how many pieces of hurt he or she is currently experiencing. The behavioral scale is designed to assess a child's response to pain. The tool is broken down into categories of cry, facial, child's verbal response, torso, touch, and legs. Each category has describing behaviors and scores which a nurse uses to assess the pain level of the child. School-aged children are able to self-report pain and are also more able to express the quality of their pain. But they may have difficulty understanding that a word such as burning can relate not only to a fire but also to a type of pain. School-aged children can revert back to toddler-like behavior when experiencing pain, so the tools that we've talked about previously can also be used with this age group. The numerical pain rating scale is a scale rated from 0, meaning no pain at all, to 10, which is the worst pain imaginable. The child is asked to pick the number that best represents his or her pain. In conclusion, pain is not always easily assessed in children, but by making use of the tools available to you, the nurse is able to assess the pain more consistently and accurately.